In this video, we will review SiriusXM's fish mapping sea temperature information using a Lowrance display. Let's start by clicking on the chart icon on the home screen. Select menu in the upper right corner of the screen or from the hard keys. From the menu, select overlay from the choices shown. On the next list, select fish mapping. Then select fish mapping options from the main menu. At this point, we suggest turning the legend on as you will find it useful while viewing the fish mapping layers. Next, select view. This menu shows the available fish mapping layers. From the menu, select sea surface temperature contours. The next menu allows you to enable the contours. This puts the data layer on the screen. The red contour line shown represent the sea surface temperature in areas across the screen. This information is updated every three hours. These contour lines show noticeable breaks where the water temperature is changing from cool to warm, attracting bait fish. Use these contours to help locate your target species based on their preferred temperature range. The number shown on the contour line is the temperature along that line. A new line represents where the temperature has changed by two degrees or more. If you look at the legend, you'll also notice that the areas with the cooler temperatures are shaded in light red, and the areas with the warmer temperatures are a darker red. From this page, you can also customize the temperature range you would like displayed. Adjusting the range allows you to highlight specific temperatures, which your target species prefers. Notice when the temperature range is changed from 36 degrees to 90 degrees, to 73 to 79 degrees, how the contours change to show only the range selected. Now let's go back to the fish mapping menu and select sea surface temperature front. These layers allow you to see the estimated strength of sea surface temperature changes. These fronts are areas where significant changes create distinct boundaries between bodies of water. This information is updated every 24 hours. Fronts concentrate nutrients which attract bait fish and create barriers to fish movement. Sea surface temperature fronts are based on a scale from one to four, one being a weak front, two being a moderate front, three being a strong front, and four being a very strong front. Ideally, you're looking for strong or very strong fronts, as these are typically the most productive areas. A good tip to remember is to use several fish mapping layers in combination. Note that where strong and very strong plankton and sea surface temperature fronts exist close together or overlap, these will be the most probable areas for finding game fish. Now let's go back to the menu, scroll down and select 30 meter subsurface temperatures. The next menu allows you to enable the contours so they are overlaid on the screen. This feature allows you to view the water temperatures 30 meters below the surface. This information is updated every 24 hours. From this page, you can also select the temperature range you would like displayed. Notice when the temperature range is changed from 50 to 82 degrees to 75 to 80 degrees, how the contours change. In this case, highlighting where warmer waters of the Gulf Stream can be found. As with sea surface temperatures, different species of fish prefer specific ranges of temperatures. This information allows you to identify areas with the preferred temperature range of your target game fish in the area below the surface where they are likely to be hunting. As indicated by the legend, the areas with the cooler temperatures are shaded in light red and the areas with the highest temperatures are shaded in darker red. For additional information and videos, please visit our fish mapping website at SiriusXM.com forward slash fish mapping. For videos specific to your branded display, visit our marine video library at SiriusXM.com forward slash marine library. And for even more about using SiriusXM Marine, visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash SXM Marine. In addition, please follow us on our social media sites. If you have any questions, feedback, or would like to share a story, please email us at marine.support at siriusxm.com. 
If you have specific questions about your Lowrance hardware, please visit www.lowrance.com forward slash contact dash us. Thank you for watching.